We're not smart. We didn't bring any jackets. Pretty much nothing but our fishing rods because we were that excited to go fish. And now this is what we got. Yeah, pretty nuts. So here we go. We do see wildlife, we do see all that. Man, this wind's blowing hard. Mind you, this seawall is normally four or five feet off the water. And the fact that the water is this high is insane. The problem is, is we can't get to where we want to fish because all the bridges are closed, all the passes are closed, everything's closed. So we just have to fish somewhere where there's water and make the best of it. But. We will. We are going to take out the John boat. Oh yeah. We have a little spot that we're gonna go to that's usually banging. And right now the water's gonna be really high, but it should still be pretty good. So let's see, hopefully it's not too windy, but it's a little bit secluded, so. It should be fine. Let's go catch some fish. The ride there was sketchy to say the least. Blocked off. We are on our way. We got everything loaded up in our spot. We got some live bait in here. And we'll catch some more. Rock and roll. Oh, shaky. I saw some commotion in the water and decided to pitch shrimp at it. Trout? Oh, nice trout. Little trout, little trout. All right, that's cool. It kind of shook a little bit. It thudded like something that was aggressive. Um, man, these fish are so dark back here. That's so awesome. See ya. Oh, that looks like good trout. That commotion was a school of trout. Now it's time to have some fun. Give it to them. Come on, eat it. Come on. Let's go. Let's go, nice trout. Nice trout. Yeah, nice trout, look at that. Look at that. Thank you for your service. We are in the middle of a hurricane. Well, we're not in the middle of the hurricane but there's a hurricane going on right now in Florida and we're fishing it. As you can expect, everything in this wind proved to be difficult. Bro, it's like my bait is, is right and the wind's blowing my rod tip left. It makes no sense. In order for me to feel this fish, it has to be ginormous and swipe me. Come on. Oh, giant ladyfish. Oh, big old lady. And we'll keep it for bait because this is our last shrimp. Bro, this is the last shrimp too. Oh, we just caught our bait. Chunks of ladyfish can make for good bait, but beware, they can draw a lot of catfish too. Oh, look at the size, bro. Oh, goodness. Hey, well, hello there, lady. Look at that, Swiss. We noticed the storm looping back around, so we took off for cover. This John boat doesn't have a bilge pump, so any type of heavy rain is bad news. Waiting it out in the car ended up being a good move, because when we got back, we were blessed with a little treat. Oh, the fishing just got so serious. The fishing just got so serious. Oh yeah. Fiddler crab, this thing is gonna catch us some good redfish. The fiddler crab is a great bait. I really like them because you don't get to fish with them often. They're really not presented in bait shops a lot. So any opportunity I get to fish them, I'm gonna jump all over it. 
With this bait, you can expect to catch redfish, snook, and sheep's head. You want to rig this bait from the bottom through the top of the shell. Try using a thin hook. That will give you the best chance of keeping it alive. And it's bad. It ain't no cat. I'll tell you that. Feels like a little... Oh, look at that little red fish. You have got to be kidding me. Oh my, I asked for a red and look what I was given. You have got to be No way. Look how blue the tail is. That's awesome.